Well, hello everybody. Welcome to another Road Trips with Yogi. I am the aforementioned Yogi, and I always forget to put my sunglasses on before I start recording. Why is that? So, anywho, today we are going to hit Ozaki County. Kind of look for some neat things that are in Ozaki County, and there are a bunch. So, with that being said, it's a beautiful day. It's about 50 degrees out. Let's take a road trip, shall we? We are in Cedarburg, Wisconsin. We are at the Covered Bridge Park. Pretty cool, isn't it? It's a nice covered bridge. It says last covered bridge, but I don't know if it's the last covered bridge in Wisconsin. But we're going to take a look around here, okay? It's a very cool park. And that's a very cool bridge. We're going to go walk on in just a second. And it's nestled along Cedar Creek here. Cedarburg is located in Ozaki County, which is a county east of where I am in Washington County. Crick right there. There's a shot of the bridge right there. Very neat. Like I said, there's lots of people here today. And uh, we're going to go take a walk on the bridge. So let's go. So here we go. We're going to go over this nice little wooden bridge here. Very cool. I like to use the word cool a lot because there are a lot of cool things. Let's take a look over here. Cedar Creek, I love that sound. That is such a calming sound. You now once the leaves are on the trees, it'll be even more beautiful. And on this side, we have the covered bridge. Can you hear that? When you're walking, it's like doom, doom, doom. It makes a really weird sound when you're when you're walking on that bridge. Almost musical. One more quick look at the bridge there. Again, it's a beautiful day. Beautiful, beautiful day. Low 50s for temps partly cloudy I love the clouds the clouds look so cool in the sky again there's the kayaker this will be interesting I want to see how they do here by the rocks will they get caught or is there like a little channel they can go through Beautiful view right there. Last covered bridge in Wisconsin, placed by Port Washington chapter of the Daughters of the American Revolution, 1876 to 1955. There is a covered bridge. This bridge was built by the town of Cedarburg and petition of neighboring farmers to replace periodically washed out bridges. Pine logs cut and milled at Baraboo were fitted and set in place in lattice truss construction with 3 by 10 inch planks secured by 2 inch hardwood pins, eliminating the use of nails or bolts and floored by 3 inch planking. The Ozaki County Board in 1940 voted to assume the preservation and maintenance of this bridge. And there it is. So, last covered bridge in Wisconsin. Let's go inside. Ooh, you can feel that wind. It's very, very cool and windy in here because of the lack of sunlight, obviously. But it's very neat. All the uh, planks are 
carved with various writings. People have carved writings all over the place here. Very neat. You can still see like where the gravelly road was right here. But then, yeah, the whole thing was planked, but then they eventually covered it with gravel. That's a shame actually. They should have kept the, the wood the way it was. But they eventually covered it with gravel. Here's somebody from, uh, looks like 1966. Right there, 866. Ron and Celia, 19, is that it? either a 6 or an 84? I can't tell. Looks like a 6, but it kind of looks like an 8 as well. And here's a shot from the other end where we just were. Again, very, very nice. Very nice relic to have kept. I am here at the Ozaki County Pioneer Village. It's a living history museum. It's not open to the public right now, but uh, this is where we are. Pan back a little bit. This is a trading post. So you can see it's close to the season. Huh. It's an Indian trading post from 1848. It was in Fillmore and uh, in Ozaki County and it was moved to the village here in 1968. And here's more of the, the grounds. There's a place outside of um, southwest of Milwaukee, uh, an eagle called old Wisconsin and it's kind of like this as well a living learning history museum let's come around the back here pretty neat place I would love to check this out when the museum is open. Another interesting old building. So I'm assuming all these buildings were located in the area and uprooted and relocated here at the Historical Society, the Pioneer Museum. 
a Cedarburg on the old depot, so my guess would be that is the old Cedarburg depot. Maybe they had more than one because there is a depot that's in Cedarburg right now that's being used as a historical society. There's the caboose. That's a pretty big museum. Goes all the way down to the road. To Highway I. We're closer to Wabeca and Fredonia, I think, than we are to like Sockville. I don't think this is considered Sockville where we are anymore. Yeah, very, very cool. If you like my videos, folks, please like, subscribe to YouTube, get updates on when new videos are going to be released. I try to release them every two to three days. I am on Patreon now. www.patreon.com or patreon.com forward slash road trips with Yogi. Each word starts out with a capital letter. Capital R, capital T, capital W, capital Y. Road trips with Yogi. Um, if you like what the, the content I'm providing for you and you would like to uh, help support the channel, help support what I'm doing, um, give that a shot. Take, take a good look. And uh, if it's something you can do, please support the channel and support my uh, adventures. Um, and until next time, I believe this is going to be it for today. Again, thank you all for watching Road Trips with Yogi. I am the aforementioned Yogi. And... Uh, Till the next video, adios.